if you ask me, is the most beautiful and most challenging track in the world. Hi guys, we're now in an Adenau, it means 24 hours for a river ring race week and it's going to be a special one because we are sharing the car together. So, yeah, I'm here myself, you know, we've been made since karting times, it's to be here fighting for an overall win together on one of the official Audi cars, something very special. Yeah, it's going to be a special week anyway because it's the 50th anniversary of the 24 hours of Nürburgring and yeah, really looking forward to share the car with my buddy. The other two mates that we shared is beautiful. One of them is Christopher, Mr. Rust is busy at the moment, as you can see, and now it's about time to present our lineup, our car to the people here. Great to share the atmosphere again with all the fans, I'm really looking forward to go out there. Car collection, car 22 crew on site. Other than our racing days, that's what it's called, right? What we just did. Yep. And tomorrow the real business starts. Hazi, Rene, Patrick, and me, we're ready for the show. Yalla, yalla. Yalla! And this here. We have one guest in uh, Spain. Pizza, what's that? Pizza, Hazi. I have the pizza. Weg die, Bro. Digga, vor allem, Digga, vor allem das Phone Pocket. Da kann ich, da, da, da kann ich gar nichts. Wie soll ich da mal, was ist zu pinkeln? Welche Ausgaben zu pinkeln? Nein. Stell dich mal ganz am Nein. Ey, wie scheiße das aussieht. Mach die Mitte. Hey, komm mal doch da noch mehr runter. Komm, lass jetzt. Nein. Das muss doch nicht peinlich sein. Scheiße, ich hab den Anzug so verkackt. Da, da ist der Azubi. Time for team picture. Yeah, that's it. Nothing more to say. What for Dame? Hold it over. Like a machine. Yeah. You see it now for the first time. Or what? <laughs> Please, yes, you start. I just died. <laughs> <laughs> what time you went? What time you went? To share a car between four drivers, which is also one of the unique things at uh, 24 Hours of Nürburgring, you sometimes get to share a car with people you usually race against, but then when, when it comes to those endurance races where you are working together, I think it, it works out really, really well and we know, you know, some of the strengths and weaknesses of the other one and we try to make sure that we can use that to our benefit because we are competing on, on one car and for our common success. The weekend is officially underway, the first practice session is running. Uh, Patrick and myself, we are not driving in this first session. Uh, it's up to Christopher and René to set up the car and they get the first laps to get their eye in. And we will be in the car uh, this evening. So, so far everything running smoothly and uh, we hope it will continue that way. So here we are, it's uh, qualifying number two. Uh, we're driving into the night, it's until uh, half past 11 tonight. Uh, Nico will start the session, uh, after him I will jump in. So uh, first laps for us today actually. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go dog, I'm riding a road y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go y'all. Got hits when they throw in the fastball. Just too quick for it. Pillin' off at the whip point. Soon they after this piss point. Ah, 
Vortrag ist tot im Highspeed und überall, sobald irgendwie ein vierter oder ein dritter oder ein zweiter Gang drin ist, überholt das Heck. Der Vogel hat noch Öl verloren über die halbe Strecke und mir schön in die Hose geschissen. Very much looking forward to Super Bowl tomorrow. What? Uh, Thursday done, roughly midnight. Uh, we've had Q1 and Q2 night practice. How was it, man? Uh, in a way, very cool. I mean, uh, to see all the spectators again, uh, the atmosphere on track was crazy. I mean, you know, seeing all the fireworks going on and uh, and the party uh, off track. Uh, on track, the party was not that great. Uh, it was quite difficult for us, I think, right? Um, yeah. But uh, we're gonna see to to turn things around tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Let's do that. See, top qualifying is running. The boys are sending it. Yeah, free track. That's obviously kind of the dream scenario here around the North Life. It's cool to, for the first time, actually see it from the side of the track here together with the fans. It's really exciting. Fingers are crossed for Christopher in our 22. And hopefully he can put us into a good position for the race. Ja, komm, der Aussehen ist Komm. Willst du das? Aber kannst du uns helfen? Ja. Wir müssen hier nur rumschwenken. Aber hier hin, Jungs, ne? Da hin, Jungs. Eins, zwei, drei. Und nochmal. Eins, zwei, drei. Und nochmal, warte, wir müssen noch ein paar Mal. Drei Mal, drei Mal müssen wir noch. Ja, wir Und drei. Ja, jawohl. Einmal müssen wir noch. Einer geht noch. Come here! Let's go, Come on. Yeah, Ladies and gents, may I present the man of top quality today, Chris Hase, put our car on P4, very, very good job, best Audi. And uh, how, did you, how was it out there, Chris? Uh, yeah, it was actually pretty special. Um, you know, having a free lap on Notch Life is always something extremely special on the calendar. Uh, yeah, P4, I think we did all together a great job to set up a car which is possible to run on a good performance. But we all know qualifying is one thing, but the big job is tomorrow. And this is 24 hours of hard racing. That's exactly it. So we had the right man in the car for today and tomorrow the big, big, big one starts. <laughs> Last night of rest before it gets real serious. Uh, tomorrow, 4 p.m., it's start time for the 24 hours of Nürburgring. We're all ready. The boys have done a very good job. The car is running smoothly. Chris put it in P4 on the grid for tomorrow. So uh, everything so far going to plan, but the big job still lies ahead of us and uh, looking forward to get it started. It's Saturday, that means it's race day here at the Nürburgring. Currently the warm-up is, is running. Nico already had its first go in the Nordsch life, but Green Hell is already showing its teeth. Uh, half of the lap is completely wet. Nico is out there on slicks. Uh, not really the way you want to start the Saturday race day, but um, uh, he managed to keep it on track. Uh, now it's going to be my turn. I'm going to just do a few laps on the, on the Grand Prix track to see how the car is going, and then uh, we're ready to race. First lap of the day done, it's only warm up, so just checking that the car is, is running fine, everything is okay before we actually head into the race. And uh, the track is exactly half dry, half wet, usual Nordsch life stuff, so uh, st it's difficult to really learn something in this warm up, but uh, the car is running okay, 
uh, it was good for me to, to get one lap in. Uh, I have done quite few laps only this week so far, so uh, one more under my belt before it's time to start the race. Show time! So we're here on the grid. It's been mega crowded to see all the support on the grandstands on the grid here. It's absolutely awesome, but we can't wait to actually go racing now. I'll do the first stint in our beauty and then we we'll see how this one goes. Start went well, uh, race is on the way. We can see massive battles already. Uh, the guys are fighting like it, it's a half an hour race. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, Nico is doing a great job. Uh, he's keeping out of trouble. It's a very, very long way to go so far. Everything looks good. The race is running, I've had my first stint. Uh, it was hectic out there as usual on the North Line. Lots of traffic, but we stayed clean. Car is uh, in perfect shape, not even one single bit of contact. Uh, just a bit tough to keep up with the, with our opponents on the straights. They're really fast, so I lo one lap I think I lost like three or four places on the Döttinger Höhe on the long straight, so that wasn't optimal. Managed to gain a couple places back on my in lap, so I think we're currently running around P6 somewhere, so yeah. we're. We're up with the front runners, but uh, at the moment it looks like uh, yeah we need to find a bit of pace to really keep up with the quickest guys, but let's see how it goes. The thing I like the most about the 24 hours of Nürburgring is the atmosphere around the track. You know, it's an absolute motorsports party. You have the fans coming in at the beginning of the week, building up their campsites and you know celebrating the passion for the sport together with us for a whole week standing by the side of the track for not only the full race but the whole lead up to the race supporting us and you know enjoying that sport together with us i think that is absolutely unique really great to see you know when you're in the car going into the night smelling the barbecue seeing the smoke people lighting up their fires and and lights around their campsites it's just unique and i think uh, amazing to see how much passion is is being put into that place into our sport into that race and uh, getting to share that together with our fans is unique and uh, you know addictive as well it's it's our drug we we love it and uh, to see people besides the track loving it as much as we do inside the cars is absolutely phenomenal yeah it's about uh, midnight soon uh, both of our cars are still in the game um, currently running six for our 22 car. Patrick on his double duties. How's the other one going? Uh, let me check. Uh, P9. So back in the top 10. We could make up some time as well there. Um, yeah, loads of, of, of good cars, loads of fast cars are out of the race because they crashed. So uh, we're still in the game. Yeah, it's not getting boring at all. Uh, let's get through the night safely and then tomorrow we attack. The most difficult thing during the 24 hours of Nürburgring is definitely the risk management. Find the right compromise between attacking flat out and still, you know, taking a little bit of margin when going through traffic or when navigating through the night. Um, you just cannot avoid running into some sort of risk and uh, taking the right amount of risk and making sure, you know, you keep it on the black stuff but don't lose time and keep yourself in the fight for the win. That's the most challenging part. Now, the explanation to do. 
Another chance to look at the. Another chance to look at the uh, Muller versus. Who, sorry, who's in the 44? Um, Picarello. I Early morning hours, a little bit after 6 a.m. Um, we're running somewhere in the top five, around P5 at the moment. Uh, everything was actually going quite well through the night. Uh, yeah, just trying to keep everything clean, and then uh, within 15 seconds, unfortunately, I had like uh, three times contact with a with another pro Porsche. And uh, yeah, every, first of all, traffic backed everything up. He had to hit the brakes again on the exit of the corner. Where uh, I did, uh, yeah, I couldn't react anymore, and I touched him, uh, but everything was was still okay there. Then uh, I was a bit surprised because he was lapped, so uh, I was surprised once he started blocking quite aggressively going into into the first corner of the Grand Prix. So I went to the outside. I thought I just you know want to want to keep it clean. I tried to hang around the outside, and he touched me during the braking, which um, I didn't think was was very necessary. And then it backed up again between turn one and turn two. There was the BMW, which was four position in, in front of us two, and um, and he had to break, hit the brake harder than usual between turn one and two. And I was on the left, and I couldn't go anywhere anywhere anymore. And uh, and we had a small, the smallest of touches, which was enough to to send him into a spin. I mean, I should have known better, you know, when when you have people who are lapped and normally shouldn't be fighting, but you already see that they they see the, uh, the situation differently. I should have just completely backed out probably. But uh, I didn't expect somebody who was not not in the fight with us anyway to actually fight because I think it makes no sense. But it is what it is. I, I have my lesson learned. Unfortunately, we, we got a, a pretty harsh penalty for it, uh, I would say. I mean, you can see it from both ways. If you want to penalize, okay, that's, that's how it is. Um, but that it was one and a half minute stop and go is is pretty harsh. But uh, we have to accept it. We took it. Uh, it still, you know, hasn't taken us out of the game, but it made the job a bit harder, which is yeah frustrating. And I'm sorry, you know, for for the team and my teammates that uh, with that penalty, you know, we have to push even a little bit harder now to make it back up to the front. But we'll not give up. We'll keep fighting hard, and hopefully, you know, we can keep climbing up the ladder and, and fight for a podium here. Yeah, it's getting more and more exciting here. Uh, a bit more than two hours to go, and the track is again half dry, half wet. So, mega tricky. Haas is doing an awesome job in the car. Intermediates are fitted, so uh, yeah, hopefully you know he can keep it on the road where it's wet, which is kind of the first half of the track. Second half looks bone dry, so uh, super tricky. Fingers crossed he can keep it on the black stuff, and uh, yeah, we still have a shot at the podium. Currently running fifth. There's one car ahead of us on wet, so uh, yeah, still anything can happen. The Tier Garden has been negotiated for the final time. Ten years ago, Audi took their first ever victory at the Nürburgring Nordschleife 24, and they take the checkered flag in 2022 for the 50th anniversary running. This is a manufacturer who, at the moment, are unsure where their future lies in endurance racing. And Chris Renke, the head of Audi Sport custom, customer racing is there on the pit wall to congratulate Audi Sport Team Phoenix. They have brought home another victory. The flags are in the air.
that's it. 24 hours of Nürburgring done. We managed to finish, unfortunately not quite on the podium. P4 for us today with the 22 Audi Sport Car collection car. Yeah, kind of obviously a bit frustrating when you're so close to the podium but just not on it. Uh, congrats to our Audi Sport sister car who managed to win the race and uh, they executed perfectly. We had some small hiccups here and there and just didn't really find the rhythm from the beginning. We, we dropped back through strategy a bit and then never really managed to recover from that. So yeah, not quite our race, unfortunately, but uh, nevertheless, it was so awesome to share this event again with all the fans out there. I hope also from home it was, it was fun to follow and uh, yeah, just a special one.